Welcome back guys to another video and if you are watching this video and you are watching this channel chances are that you are from a computer science background and there the chances are that you have heard about the java programming language now there's a common understanding uh, amongst developer that java is not the fastest language there is java is really meant for portability and cross platform operation with ease now the way java works it, it runs in its own virtual environment when within its own uh, virtual and secure uh, area and not does and not really interacts with the operating system uh, that much but what if we have an operating system that is made purely in java now if you are uh, someone like me who has worked with java you probably have the understanding that uh, Java cannot be an operating system because of the way it works but uh, there is a project named uh, JX which is actually a full-blown operating system made out of Java now I will link this in the description so you guys can go ahead and check them out it's an old project I think it uh, they stopped developing after 2006 the last release was actually in 2000 and so you can see the change log here a lot of work was done at around 2001 and 2002 but they actually uh, last release was on 2003 and they don't have had any releases since then so let's go ahead and check out some of the overview that they say uh, it's very secure uh, it's a free and open source operating system blah 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 but the main part is JX is a Java operating system that focuses on flexible and robust operating system architecture. Now they haven't updated it since 2003. I'm not sure how flexible and robust it is now or how useful it is. But uh, let's go ahead and um, read some more. Uh, JX architecture consists of set of Java components executing on the JX core that is responsible for system initialization cpu context switching and other uh, low level domain management so uh, it probably is that they made their own uh, java interpreter or a, a virtual environment uh, kind of a kernel and they call it the jx core now that jx core kernel is what is running the rest of the java system uh, and um, mainstream operating systems and traditional micro kernel kernels base their protection on MMU provided address space spec separation I, I don't understand a lot of this but um, they are actually comparing it to probably Linux or some kind of that stuff the protection in JX is solely based on the types of safety intermediate code the, on the Java bytecode so uh, of course uh, everything is written in Java every uh, separate Java application will run in its own uh, own separate and isolated virtual environment so things would be safe but this was a concept now it was made by uh, the students at the university of uh, or Langen uh, I hope I'm not butchering that but and probably it was just like a project and then it died off after a few years so uh, let's go ahead and try to run it on our uh, virtual machine and uh, let's see how it is so uh, there is, it doesn't support a very high resolution and uh, I'll actually uh, zoom in uh, while editing this so you guys can actually see really well and uh, so the first window we are greeted with is this is a little demo shows some uh, this little demo shows some of the implementations that were made to bring AWT a compatible GUI to the JX platform now JX platform is there of course own uh, uh, the Java kernel kind of stuff and the AWT is the window components that are uh, included with the uh, Java programming language so uh, we can cancel that and, and the mouse is a bit of a small triangle alright so start and what we all have is AWT demos and about again opens this up uh, so let's go ahead and check out some of the demos so we have a label demo button demo scroll bar demo you can see this is the basic scroll bar I can um, scroll 
well that's about it and you can see that the uh, we have a listener output so all your action listeners uh, can actually uh, you can see their outputs uh, kind of a log so if you have programmed in Java before this would be making a lot of sense it is to me because I have but um, listeners are kind of uh, the uh, components of Java that are really needed to get an input or listen to an input from the user so that's uh, what happening what's happening here and that's the output for that so canvas demo is basically like a paint so it actually you can make shapes with different colors and then uh, make lines so this is about it now uh, most of it is in black and white now but this is not an entirely uh, black and white operating system you can see the image demo uh, does show some uh, beautiful colored images and actually as one I mean and then there's the shades this is probably like 16 bit and then this is 24 bit uh, color space so you can see the lines and then this is quite smooth and this is an image of earth or something all right so um they didn't really uh, include a terminal or a command line window that i can uh, play around with uh, in this and this is about it this is as much as we can see now since the project is actually um, not really in development so as you can see this is a small mind uh, uh, mind sweep game made in java now i am not really uh, good at this but yes okay looks like we did break something after all so um this is about it and um, so here is the pop-up menu so this is more like a demo for different components that can be used in Java now this is only like 64 MB or something and it requires 128 uh, megabytes of RAM so it's really easy to run on something like a virtual machine if you really want to uh, experience this or something and what else can we do looks like I did break it after all and I'll just So there is not really that much uh, of it and this is about it that this is what you get. So uh, really I, I found it really awesome that someone actually went ahead and made an operating system solely based on Java. So I decided to make a video. So thank you so much guys for watching and I would see you next time.